Hello Gemini, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Gemini, this is your reading for the month of June. This is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Gemini, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right. So Gemini, I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what is your energy, what are the things that you need to know when it comes to your love life, okay, and I'll also pull out uh, messages, okay, you'll have to think uh, regarding one specific person and we'll see what this person is thinking and feeling about you right now, okay. All right. So Gemini, what do you need to know for the month of June? What do you need to know for the month of June? Make sure you're watching the video till the end. Okay. Gemini, what do you need to know for the month of June? Like I said, the link for the extended is in the description box and comment section. So Queen of Swords. And then we have Knight of Swords. Then we have Three of Pentacles. And we have Five of Swords. Interesting. A lot of sword cards. Now let's talk about your romantic life. What do you need to know regarding love and romance for the month of June? What do you need to know regarding love and romance for the month of June? What do you need to know regarding love and romance for the month of June, Gemini? What do you need to know regarding love and romance for the month of June? Gemini, what do you need to know regarding love and romance for the month of June? We have Hierophant. Interesting. Then we have Ace of Wands. We have Six of Pentacles and we have Eight of Pentacles. Wow. And then at the end, these are some envelopes. Okay. And we have messages stored in these envelopes. Okay. So there are many uh, envelopes. And of course, I'll pull out two messages from these envelopes. And we'll see what that specific person on your mind is thinking and feeling about you. Okay, but this is something we will do at the fag end of this reading. Make sure you're watching the reading till the end. First, we'll cover up the general messages, okay? So, Gemini, you might be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, another Gemini. You might be dealing with uh, Taurus. You might be dealing with Virgo. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Number five is of some importance. You might be seeing a lot of five, five, five. Okay. Number uh, three is of some importance. You might be seeing a lot of three, three, three. You might be seeing number six is of some importance. Uh, you might be seeing triple one as well. One, one, one. Okay. So this is the spread related to your love life, Gemini. Hierophant, Ace of Wands and Six of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. All right, Gemini, what you need to know for the month of june what is your energy for the month of june queen of swords knight of swords then we have three of pentacles and then we have five of wands okay with the queen of swords i kind of feel that you are in the defensive mode okay you are you have an idea that maybe someone will start a fight with you or someone unnecessary or someone is coming towards you and you don't like that person maybe uh, a cousin sister a cousin or a sibling is coming and visiting you um and and you know that you had a very formal relationship with the sibling you you never really liked them as much as you liked other ones or you never had a very great bond with them it was always very much formal and uh, you always know that this person is very much interested in picking up fights with you so you know this person is coming and uh, you are preparing yourself uh, you're preparing your defenses you're preparing yourself for some kind of argument or certain fights if some allegations are being made you're ready to defend yourself because you had this experience in the past okay and this time around you're in no mood to listen to anyone 
okay so if this is not about anyone coming towards you you are simply uh in this energy where you are not taking any kind of bs from anyone okay you're like i don't care if people want to deal with me they have to talk respectfully okay i deserve respect and i deserve dignity dignity as much as other people do okay and if i am treating someone with respect okay and I'm, I'm i'm showing respect and dignity and reverence with wholeheartedness that's what i expect to myself as well people should not discount me okay people should not take me for granted so i feel like you are in this bitch kind of an energy or you are in this boss energy where you are in no mood to take any kind of bs if i i feel like if if someone throws bs at you they are going to get a piece of mind from you okay there there you will be the one who will initiate some arguments and fights and you will let them know that this is not you're not okay with such kind of a behavior of theirs okay i see in the month of june you're going to show a lot of boundaries to to many people you are in this mood to show boundaries you are going to tell many people that you are not okay with their behavior and if they have to deal with you if they have to talk to you they better talk respectfully with you okay so they have to be nice to you otherwise they they it's it's better if they don't talk to you so you're making things very clear you're being very honest very upfront you are in this defensive mode you are in this bitchy energy and boss energy okay so that's the kind of energy i see for you in the month of uh, in the month of june apart from that this is also some kind of a protective energy queen of swords is also uh, an energy where you're trying to protect something either you know you are raising something that is not yet as strong as it should be okay so say for example you have just started a business okay and the business is yet to uh, uh, you know uh, build itself up or the business is yet to set a strong foundation for itself yet okay or say for example you have just given a birth to a baby and of course babies are very vulnerable everyone knows that okay so something that is uh, is not as strong as it should be you are being extremely protective about it or maybe you are pregnant someone is pregnant over here and you are trying to be protective about it or you might become pregnant in the month of june and you will have this all protective energy and i also feel that you will be you will try to cleanse your energy time and again because there is a possibility that you might feel presence of some kind of an energy and uh, you will be like i i want to cleanse up my aura i want to cleanse up my energy you will clean your house time and again you will burn a lot of incense sticks you will do a lot of things which will uh, which will kind of give you the satisfaction that yes i'm cleaning up my home i'm cleaning up my aura i'm cleaning uh, cleaning up all the clutter in and around me clutter from my house you will try to keep your home very tidy it doesn't mean that it's not tidy of course it is okay but this this feeling that there is a presence of energy in and around you which probably you are not liking much you will try to do something to cleanse up that energy okay so that is also something i'm getting over here in the month of june for you gemini knight of swords i told you someone is coming towards you but as far as the knight of swords is concerned i feel like this is a slightly aggressive energy okay it is possible that you might uh, cross paths with someone who was extremely competitive with you in the past okay you might bump into someone whom you never liked or maybe a childhood friend or a school friend who was absolutely very competitive with you or maybe someone who bullied you as a child okay uh, during the school days you're going to you're going to meet that person in a grocery store or something like that all of a sudden you're going to meet someone that you didn't like in the past okay and you will try to avoid conversations with that person but somehow you will feel like that person is interested in interacting with you uh but of course that person is not going to be as aggressive as they were in the past if they had bullied you they are not going to believe you they are not going to bully you all over again just that the energy that you feel from that person uh is something that you won't be liking you will be detesting uh 
uh, their presence you'll be like oh no i don't want to meet this person i don't want to talk to this person so you will keep things very very formal okay yeah like i said for some of you a, a sibling is returning you're going to meet someone a cousin is coming your home or some relatives are coming your home which you never liked you're going to meet someone who was very competitive with you you never liked that person you thought that this person was very selfish so i see that your guards are up uh, at least during the first 15 days of june i i feel that you are you will act very cautious during the first 15 days or for some of you during the entire month of june uh this is not going to cause any kind of stress okay this is not going to cause any kind of stress because i also feel that you are bossing up you are leveling up okay so people or situations no more cause stress to you you are a very confident person you know how to handle things okay you are a grown up man and a woman you are very mature and you are very confident uh just that when we don't like someone we don't like the presence we don't like to see them again and again in our life okay so that kind of feeling i'm getting over here okay if you see this look at this knight of swords this person's also also holding a sword the queen of swords she's also holding a sword it looks like the knight is rushing towards the queen and they are both of them are getting ready to are ready to fight with one another so that kind of energy i'm getting uh with three of pentacles gemini your ultimate goal is something else your ultimate goal is trying to build something your ultimate goal is to build something solid in your life so whether it's a relationship whether it is a friendship whether it is a romantic relationship or trying to uh make things right with your with with your siblings or trying to make things right with your friends or uh, you know establishing a a sound business establishing a very successful business your ultimate goal is to set something whatever you are focusing on okay you want to make a very solid foundation for that thing whether it is business whether it is a relationship okay you are trying to build up uh so you're trying to build something really strong okay and you have a long term vision and you want to expand it you want to grow it by leaps and bounds okay so your ultimately your focus is something else but initially you might find your focus getting diverted your energy getting diverted because of this energy knight of swords energy someone coming towards you and you becoming defensive and aggressive and then your energy getting shifted from the three of pentacles uh, to queen of swords you becoming defensive you becoming ag aggressive not ready to take any kind of bs from anyone you bossing up bitching up okay so your ultimate goal what you want to achieve in the month of june is three of pentacles what you want to achieve is to build something solid whether it is whatever you are trying to build you know that for many of you i see that you are trying to build a secure uh, a secure future secure financial future your focus is on building up money your focus is on building up wealth for yourself so you are trying to build a very secure future for yourself okay so that is your ultimate focus for the month of june but you might find yourself getting distracted by these negative energies and you do have you do have a presence of presence of negative energies okay so uh, having said so does that mean that you're not going to focus on building no not at all even if there might be temporary or intermittent distractions doesn't mean that it will stop you from achieving or having what you want okay uh you you have set your intentions gemini and you will achieve what you want to achieve five of swords is again telling me that there might be confrontation with someone um maybe for some of you you might bump into your ex as well i'm getting this again and again that someone you don't like you're going to meet that person okay uh for some of you it's i'm hearing that you're ending this battle once and for all you're ending some kind of a battle once and for all if there was an ongoing battle say for example uh, a battle related to inheritance okay you you are uh, you are taking an initiative and resolving this battle okay by hook or by crook you are making sure that the uh, battle gets resolved it can be related to anything like it can be related to inheritance it can be related to uh, you not crossing my path it can be related to don't try to trigger me it can be related to 
um, you know, people being mean to you for literally for no reason and you're just done with them and you're letting them know that you are not okay with this. Okay, you have to end this and you cannot cross my path again. Okay, if you try to do that, I'll be the worst person for you or something like that. I also see you exchanging certain threats. Okay, so I feel like you are in this, some of you are in this uh, mood to end and end some kind of a battle with someone okay because you are tired because you are tired of dealing with with this which is which is something that is futile which is something that is useless for you because you don't want to dedicate your energy towards something that is unproductive for you you want to dedicate your energy towards something that is productive okay securing your financial future building up the wealth wealth creation is something that is important for you okay and you don't want to dedicate your energy towards some low vibrational energies okay so i feel like you are bossing up you are letting someone know that you cannot keep on messing around with me time and again whenever at your whims and fancies you pop up in my life and you try to make attempts to mess around with me no you have to stop that and if you don't stop that the consequences will be worst i see you threatening someone i see you literally letting them know in the most appropriate tone in the most appropriate words and they will they will ultimately stop messing around with you whoever this person is they will stop messing around with you uh let's talk about let's talk about uh, let's talk about love and romance the hierophant then we have ace of wands six of pentacles and eight of pentacles uh gemini you're manifesting commitment okay see i told you right your focus is building up something strong so whether it's future whether it is relationship what does hierophant mean hierophant means commitment commitment from a long-term perspective hierophant means you're exchanging vows to remain committed you're com exchanging commitment with something or someone i'm committing myself to do this I'm committing myself to remain loyal. Okay, someone is exchanging commitments with you as well. You are exchanging commitments with other person. Okay, verbally or in an implied manner, I see commitments as a commitment is getting exchanged. So now this, the lower spread is about your love and life. So Hierophant also means marriage. Marriage is all about commitment. Commitment to remain loyal, commitment to take care of one another, commitment to be there for one another. So Hierophant, uh, what I see, Gemini, is you are manifesting with the Ace of Wands. With the Ace of Wands, you are manifesting a very strong bond with someone. Maybe you have someone on your mind, Gemini. Okay. You already know that you may want to be with this person or you want to be with this person or you are interested in someone. You are manifesting someone. If you have not met someone... I feel like there is a strong possibility of you meeting someone online. Okay. Again, six of pentacles is exchange. There is a give and take that is happening. I strongly feel Gemini that if you're single, you're going to meet someone in the month of June. There is a very strong possibility of you meeting someone in the month of June. Okay. And if you're already in a connection, it's, it is very likely that you might escalate this connection to higher levels. You might take this one notch high okay take this connection uh to the next level okay uh so if you are in a connection with someone i see some proposal happening marriage happening okay whoever is coming towards you they they are passionate but they are also very stable and this person they had a couple of relationships in the past of course they were failed relationships but they have matured a lot uh, out from those relationships i mean they have learned a lot from those relationships okay so this person might be a mix of earth a mix of uh, air and fire okay sun moon rising venus i feel this person has very strong placements of earth this person uh, yeah like uh, taurus virgo capricorn uh gemini libra aquarius and then fire signs i somehow feel this person is a sagittarius okay so they do have 
again i would like to say to, do not remain fixed on the signs uh this person is good with the money you wanted someone who is good with the money you wanted someone uh, somehow i feel financial security is very much at the top of your mind so even you are manifesting someone who is good with the money okay so this person is already sitting on a high position they are doing good in their life when it comes to money this person is really 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 good they are very hard working very very hard working and they will put a lot of efforts towards this connection as well they will make sure that you are happy in this connection that is their ultimate goal they will definitely make sure that you are happy in this connection now let's see what if you have someone on your mind gemini let's see what this person is thinking and feeling about you so i have some envelopes and i have some romantic messages in those envelopes so i'll pull out two messages and let's see what are they thinking and feeling about you gemini okay so i'm opening them opening up the envelope and let's see what's the message in the envelope oh wow if you can see the imagery this person is she's standing in the gallery in the balcony and this person is standing down on the road and he is singing a song for him for her he he is playing a violin or a guitar whatever it is okay and then there is a cat okay let's see what is what is the message in your eyes i can see my own soul you are my world wow what this person thinks is in your eyes i can see my soul you are my world wow beautiful this is the first message let's see what is the another message that this person is thinking wow this is like two of cups image this is so beautiful ha huh. all that you are is all that i will ever need oh my god this is so beautiful this is so cute all right gemini i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe comment down below take care and have a great time ahead bye bye